Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you one of our recent project in which we integrated Google Calendar with the Google Sheets. On the right side of the screen you can see Google Calendar and on the left side of the screen you can see Google Sheets. So first of all, uh, I would be adding a Google Calendar from my Google Sheets. So let this is the tab, settings tab, where I have to ha add calendar name, description, color and collaborator email and role in order to add this calendar into the Google Calendar. So let me start with the uh, data entry. S okay, for the calendar color there are multiple options which users can select from the drop down. And as far as the role is concerned, uh, the user can simply hover over this cell and he will see the all the uh, roles which are available. So basically there are four roles available. If user select on a reader then the collaborator will only be able to read the calendar and not to edit the calendar. If user select none then the uh, calendar will not be shared with the collaborator and when the user select writer then the uh, collaborator will be able to write in the calendar and in the case of owner, the ownership of the calendar calendar will be transferred to the uh, collaborator. So uh, I have selected reader here. Now uh, I will have to click on add calendar in order to add the calendar in the uh, Google calendar. Right now there is no calendar with the name debunk calendar. Uh, once the script is completed uh, then we will be able to see the calendar in the calendar list. Okay, uh, the calendar is successfully created, so I will refresh the calendar. And as you can see here, calendar is successfully added. Let me click on the settings to see whether it have added properly. So demo calendar name is right. Demo dis calendar description is also right as can be seen on the sheet. And it have correctly added the collaborator as you can see here. Now let me see my email whether I have received the email for that. So as you can see here I have received the email from the Google. So this is working properly. Now let me minimize it once again. Now it's the time to add a task. So <coughs> okay now it's time to add the task in the task list or event in the event list. So you can use this sheet for your events as well as your tasks. So let me quickly do the data entry. Okay, now it's time to add the task or event in the task list. You can use this sheet uh, for both your events or your tasks. So let me show you how you can add the event or task in the Google Calendar. So you will be using this task list tab in order to add the event or task. Uh, I would do quickly entry. So let me come here and Okay, coming to the guest or collaborator, this is a drop down and the value is coming from this tab, emails tab. So if you want to add more collaborators, uh, I mean the people with whom you want to share the task, then you have to add them and their email in this list. And once completed, you will see them in the drop down and you just have to select them. Once selected, you have uh, option to either send them invitation email or not so you can simply select any one of the option and if you select the yes then they will receive an email and if you select no then they will not receive an email so i have selected yes in order to receive an email and the data entry is completed so let me add the task in the google calendar for that i simply have to click on the add uh, checkbox and it will be added in the Google Calendar. So let me show it to you. Okay, as you can see, it have added a log and here you can see event successfully created in Google Calendar. And here the whole detail of the log is being shown. And on the right side of the screen, you can see the newly added 
uh, event have been prop uh, successfully added. So let me click on it to see the details and whether uh, to see whether the proper details are added. So let me click here. Okay, the name of the task is right, and the date is from June 10 to June 12 because we have selected three days. So six, seven. Uh, so this was 10th of June. Then it goes till 12th of June. And then we added location Islamabad, as you can see here. So it's right. F guest, we added one guest, which was my own email. So this can be seen here. And let me see my email now. And as you can see, I have also received the email of the task. OK, now I'll be showing you how you can delete a task. Deleting a task is quite easy. You just have to uncheck this box, and the task will be deleted from the Google Calendar. So as you can see, uh, the task is strike through and the and from the Google Calendar, task is disappeared because it's deleted. Also in the logs, you can see the log of deleted uh, event can be seen. Okay, now I will be showing you how you can update a task. Updating a task is also quite easy. Uh, in order to update a task, let's say we added task title to task one, uh, test task one to test task two. Now, in order to update it, I first have to uncheck this box. This will delete the previous task, which was task one, and you will see this will be disappeared, as you can see on the screen. Now, I will be adding a new task, which is test task two. So, I will simply check it again and the previously added task was removed and this task will be added. Let, as you can see on the screen, test task 2 have been added. So that's it. I hope you must have enjoyed watching this video. In case you have any query, then feel free to contact us on info at gshares.com or you can contact us on our Facebook page. Thank you. Bye-bye.